Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. Today we're going to talk about Ready Boost. Ready Boost has been around since Windows Vista, and it's one of those tools that if you meet a certain condition, you can use it to make your computer go faster. But in the end, it's cheaper just to get RAM to take care of the same problem. This is about uh, Microsoft's Ready Boost. Let's get into it deeper and I'll explain. Well, if you want to improve the performance of your Vista or Windows 7 computer, you can use something called Ready Boost. And I haven't checked, but I think it works on Windows 8 too. Anyway, Ready Boost will add additional memory. It's not really like adding RAM, it's more like adding page memory. But you may, may be able to speed up your computer by using Ready Boost. But I wouldn't recommend it if you have over 2 gig of RAM already. So this is one of those things that a lot of people don't, you know, fall under. If you go to my computer and right click my properties, you can see that my computer currently has 8 gig of RAM on it. So this machine wouldn't benefit at all. But I'm going to show you this anyway on this machine. Um, so I've got 8 gig installed. I've got this uh, micro um, flash card. This is 4. This is 4 gig. It's a Sony. And I'm going to put it in and configure it for Ready Boost so you can see how it works. So let me uh, do that now. All right, so I've got my flash here, and this is brand new out of the package. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so I've plugged in the, uh, the device, and you can see that I've got choices here. And one of them is speed up my system on the very bottom, and that's actually Ready Boost. So we can click on that. And we can dedicate this device to Ready Boost if we want to leave it in all the time. Or we can just use this device and then it'll be okay to reformat it and use it for something else in the future. So let's go ahead and just click this one. Now you can see that you can adjust how much um, memory this uses. And this is a 4 gig, and you can see if I pull it all the way over, I can't even get quite 4 gig. That's because some room is needed for thumbnails and things like that. But uh, I'm just going to leave it at the max and hit apply. And OK. My system is now using that full time. Or rather, it's using it right now. Let's hit start. My computer. Right click, properties. You can see that the whole drive is now taken and there's only a tiny bit of um, free space. So we're using the 3.75 gig for the uh, virtual RAM, if you will. Now, if you go, it's not the same, like I said, it's not the same kind of like system RAM. If you go to my computer, and you right click and you look at your your installed memory you're not going to see an increase here because it's not really RAM like I said it's like a page file it takes temporary pages in and out of, of the flash drive and that's how it uh, releases um, room on your actual RAM but again, if you're if you already have over two gig, this isn't going to help anyway. But uh, if you meet those criteria, you happen to have a flash drive, you want to try it and see how it feels. This is, you know, this could be good, and uh, it's one of those tools that you you probably won't use much. But hey, you never know; it exists. And now, if you want to stop using it as a ready boost, you can reclaim it. You can go under computer and right click on it go to properties and then you can come over to the ready boost tab and then say don't use this device and it'll stop the device and then you know you can format it and use it for what it was intended there's a couple gotchas to using this 
Um, the first one is not every single flash drive is meant for high speed. There are some slow ones, especially the cheaper ones are quite slow and those might not work. And also if you have a, a main drive that's a uh, digital drive, like a digital hard drive, it's not going to work with that either. So, you know, I know it's got some restrictions there, but maybe you can use it. So I hope this helped you out. We'll see you. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.